The recovery of Japan's economy in FY21-22 resulted in a 2% increase in greenhouse gas emissions. According to data released by the government on Friday, April 21st, Japan's greenhouse gas emissions have increased by 2.0% in the year leading up to March 2022. This marks the first rise in eight years, which is attributed to the resumption of industrial activity following the adverse effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Data from the Ministry of the Environment indicated that emissions for the financial year 2021-22 increased to 1.17 billion metric tonnes of carbon dioxide, in comparison to 1.15 billion tonnes from the previous year. Following a period of emissions declined to historically low levels since the onset of data collection in 1990 firsts, there has been a recent rise in emissions, in a bid to address its status as the fifth highest carbon-emitting nation globally, Japan has set an ambitious goal to reduce emissions to 46% of 2013 levels by 2030. Should the nation meet this target, its 2030 emission levels will be recorded as 0.76 billion tonnes. The figure for 2021-22 indicates a decrease of 16.9% from that of 2013. The rise in energy consumption for 2021-22 is attributed to the economic recovery from the pandemic-induced slump, explained Fumio Ito, a ministry director, during a press conference. The speaker noted that although there was still a 3% decrease in figures compared to the pre-pandemic year of 2019-20, it does show encouraging progress towards reaching the 2030 target. Our outlook on achieving the 2030 goal is neutral. We are neither optimistic nor pessimistic. However, we acknowledge that consistent progress in our approach is necessary to attain our target. According to the Ministry, there has been an upswing in the absorption of greenhouse gases from forests and other sources in 2021-22, with a total of 47.6 million tonnes absorbed. This marks the first increase in four years. Following the 2011 nuclear power plant meltdown in Fukushima, reactor shutdowns and a greater reliance on fossil fuels led to a surge in emissions. By 2013-14, emissions had peaked at 1.4 billion tonnes. However, as renewable energy sources gained traction and some nuclear plants were brought back online, emissions decreased. In 2021-22, renewable energy sources contributed 20.3% of the total 1.03 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity generated, marking a 0.5% increase from the previous year. According to government data, there was a 3.0 percentage point increase in nuclear energy, bringing it to 6.9%, while thermal power saw a 3.5 percentage point decrease, making up 72.8%.